we have a service called Greenlight where uh, you can uh, register a Lightning node and we will basically uh, create all of the database, we will create a watchtower, we will create a, uh, the compute, uh, compute node on which the node is running and um, all you need to do is basically have an app on your phone or your desktop or whatever and that then controls the remote lightning node. Um, the fun part is that the lightning node does not have its own keys. Uh, the keys are always in the, uh, in the app that the user is running. And whenever the lightning node requires a signature from the keys, it will reach out to the, to the user, ask, hey, uh, I got this command, uh, I'm supposed to pay this. Uh, here is what I would change, uh, what th this would look like on the channels that I control. Are you okay with me doing this? And if yes, please give me a signature for it. The Commander plugin is a plugin that Rusty has built, and uh, I'm afraid I'm terrible at naming, and so the name came from me. Uh, it came from an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Uh, and the idea is basically uh, we have a number of ways to interact with a, with a CLN node. Uh, that is uh, the JSON RPC, there's a REST API, there's a gRPC API, and so on and so forth. Um, but all of these were basically non-lightning native uh, ways to talk to your node. And Commando uh, uses, the, uh, uses the lightning network protocol itself to control your lightning node. Uh. And so instead of having to open two ports in your firewall, you open one and it works, uh, works the same way. You already have a Tor configured for your lightning node. Well, reuse that connection for, uh, for your uh, commando uh, connection. And using the commando connection, you can then have access to the, uh, the uh, programming interface. So you could, for example, have a, a, a Lightning wallet that natively speaks the Lightning protocol, talk to your node through the Commander plugin. Instead of going through different channels, what PeerSwap does is basically tell your, uh, tell your direct peer, hey, um, I want to rebalance this channel. Are you okay with sending me those fun uh, the, uh, the funds on chain? So you send half a Bitcoin over that channel and you receive half a Bitcoin on chain back to yourself. Got uh, it. All of this without, without interrupting any, uh, any other node, without uh, causing them additional traffic, without all of the failed rebalance attempts that we often see. And many, many databases are now overflowing, probably because some people are rebalancing excessively. Um, so PeerSwap oh. is, is a solution for us to balance our channels and just our channels. Everybody can be a PeerSwap peer. Uh, mm -hmm. So we are basically making everybody the equivalent of a lightning uh, loop and a lightning pool uh, without getting our share. So <laughs> we, aren't, we aren't charging for that. Um, it's a more democratic system because everybody can basically offer this service. Uh, hey, I, I'd like to offer some channels to my fellow light, uh, Lightning users. Why do I need to have a coordination instance at all if I can just talk uh, talk peer to peer with, uh, with my potential uh, customers? So Liquidity Ads is a proposal by, by Lisa uh, Nygut uh, uh, and uh, she came up uh, with a system where you can basically advertise that you want to uh, that that you would put some liquidity, uh, make some uh, liquidity available for users that are looking for incoming channels. And so this addresses basically the issue of a uh, new user joining the network and uh, the usual uh, thing that that users will start doing is by basically sending your friend who you just onboarded, you'll send them a couple of, uh, of Satoshis. 
And the problem uh, with that is that uh, a newly joined user does not have any incoming channels and doesn't have any capacity going towards him. And so before you, you can even show your, your friend, hey, look how cool this is, I just sent you some Satoshis, you have to somehow get them to, to receive an incoming channel so that you can then do your cool demonstration. The thing that we tried with, with PeerSwap and with liquidity ads is to basically sidestep that, that whole garden issue by, by saying, hey, uh, we have a shared system that everybody can advertise on, uh, everybody can offer their services without any intermediaries. And so uh, I, I hope we sort of made the walled gardens uh, superfluous. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do see, definitely see a need for, uh, for interfaces to be built on top of it. Uh, basically the lightning network explorers that expose liquidity ads and stuff like that. So, so I do see that need, uh, but I don't think that, uh, that any sort of walled garden system is, is going to survive long-term.